Welcome back brothers and sisters of archery. Today we have a quick video and the bag already gives it away. It's a bow from Groza and this is Grégoire, one of my patrons wanted to have this bow. He ordered it but he said you never reviewed it so I asked uh, Chaba if he can send it first to you and this time he even did. So thank you very much Chaba for being so kind. So what he ordered is most probably the bow with the bag because the bag cost I think 20 euros. And then the bow. And then this bow. This bow. I tell you. This bow. So the bag. Obviously you get this nice sleeve. And now look look at the sear. Look only at this sear. And then look at the belly. And you know what's going on. Huh? You know. If you don't know, you don't know. So. This is the bow. Is there a string in it? Yep, there's a string in it. So this is the only thing. If the string gets stuck here, it's tough to get it out. But what I can tell you in the meantime, until I get the string out, is it's the Indo-Persian bow. Look at this. <laughs> nice. Huh? Look at this sears, huh? And it's the cross carbon version, which he made now new again. Pretty. So the bow, the sleeve, the string. There's a second string in the side pocket, but I guess he ordered it extra. They're almost there. So almost there. Look, there we are. <laughs> so then you get, of course, your uh, user instructions and uh, you know how to shoot and how to string. And it's a 38 pounder, 28 has a max draw of 32 inches. Good to know. And the price is something like 150,000 forint, but this is, let me see, including shipping. So the bow is 355 and shipping is 45, so uh, 40, yeah, 355, 45, it's 400 euros with shipping. Good. Tell you the price now first, but what we have is the Indo-Persian bow. It's a cross carbon laminated bow. Has strung 50 inches, unstrung 57 and 3 quarters, a brace set of 7 and 5 eighths, 38 pounds, at 28. Has a max draw of 32, so I guess we will end up at 45, 48 pounds. And you can have this bow from 32 to 60 pounds, and max draw is, as I said, 32 inches. He still does not write the minimum grain per pound, but I guess eight or nine should be fine with this bow. So, for the one who was annoyed that I say so often so in my videos. <laughs> nice. Uh, German, you know, 53 and a half from knock to knock. So arrow pass is a leather cover handle, and you have the whipping around it. That's fine. This is then the top, I would say. Arrow pass is 25 millimeters, a nice inch. So look at this nice bow. So the sears are covered in leather and then you see the rest in wood reinforcement relatively massive then on the back you see the carbon runs up to here nice leather is nice made here with this cut out around these edges here really really nice made and handle same color as here color wise nice oh, let's string this bow so Oh, yeah. The birds are a bit annoyed because they are here now and eat all the apples and my food I give them. And when I go out, then they start complaining. So let's see how. Oh, go in the nook. My fingers are already a little clumsy. So, oh, what you see already here is quite swampsome. Yeah, of course. Saturday, we have some alarm going. So stringing, you need to be a bit careful because this bow is in this direction. Ah, yeah. Now it's quite, so once it's strung, it's relatively stiff. So in this direction, because of this angle here, it's a little more flexible, but the bow is, look at this, 
star right in here, star right, and oh, star stiff. So this bow is stiff due to the carbon core, really, really nice. I like this bow. Uh, Gregoire, I think I don't ship it to you. <laughs> seven and a half, almost seven and three quarters. So we go with this. What do we need? You want to know? You want to know? Okay. Turn on. It's too cold, huh? Yeah, I know. Three. 60, 70, 385, okay, fine, fine. Now look at this pretty bow. So this bow spent the night outside, so it has the same temperature as we have here. So it should be fine, but let's do it first a little slow, right? <laughs> look at this, look at this. Wow. Oh, nothing, Jesus. Three hundred fifty-five euros. I think I, <laughs> I think I need one. But I would like to have a composite one, Chapa. So I shoot four hundred grain arrows with it. Should be fine, I guess. And of course, I don't have my thumb protector on again. Holy cow! <laughs> yes, sir. I not this distance, I ruined my arrows. Holy moly, you like this winter wonderland, huh? I don't. <laughs> sure. Look at this draw. Easy. No warm up, nothing needed. This bow just draws smooth. Wow. A little bit of shock in the hand with these 400 grain arrows, but it's fine. It's nothing. To worry about. Holy cow. I need this bow. I, you know why I need this bow? That's why. This bow instantly gives you confidence. This is like, yes, sir. A little shock in the hand of 400 grain, but I don't want to shoot heavy arrows, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, ah, I don't even shoot properly and the arrows fly nice. Holy cow. <laughs> Gregoire, on Monday I go on a 3D parkour. <laughs> I take your bow with me. Holy. 191. Yep, feels like. These are 194. These are the easiest 32 inches to draw of a 32 inch draw bow. Ah, 184. I ruined the shot. 194 foot per second. Nice. What this bow is doing, you saw it in a slow motion. First the center shot, the second one was a little low. I compensated a little and it went too high. So this bow gives you instant feedback what is going on. So even if your form is only decent, this bow is telling you what to do and you will become instantly good with this bow. This is, you can't avoid. Let's try a little torque. Yes, that was a little quadcatra, not torque. The catra, push forward, pull back. Look at this. This is hilarious. 
good 190 foot per second. You hear the, the target impact. You only need to draw fully. And this is what I realized when your arrows fly bad. Make sure that the tip ends up here so that your arrows are matching your draw length like this. Then the arrows oh, fly nice when you, you know, when you don't draw that much, when you draw until here. Arrow wobbles. Still a center shot, but in you, in you. <laughs> this is a amazing bow. Some people ask me if you can shoot a bow like this 20 inches, so with Mediterranean middle finger in the corner of your mouth. Of course you can, but you know, it's like you have a Ferrari with, with five gears and you only drive in, in third gear. Doesn't make that much sense. So you want to draw this bow to its maximum. And then you get the performance out of it. The same like you get a Manchu bow with 36 inch draw and then you only draw 28 inches. The bow is not even drawn properly. So you want to draw this bow. Of course you could shoot in a three finger horse archers like, you know, here. It's fine. Let's check quickly. This handle is just fine. So you can do your Kashai style. You can do, what am I going to do? This one here. You can do this one. Let's see how this works. Yeah, you can do both versions. It's fine. Oh, not with this glove in the cold. And the knocks are a little wide for the string. So, but you can do it. You can, do it. You can, do it. You can if you fiddle around, but these knocks, the string is really a little, center serving is a little narrow. And these knocks are a little wide. Oh, that was a little overdone in torque. Let's see if we can do this better. Yeah, kind of talking and shooting. Incredible bow, Gregoire, you can look forward. This is one of the most amazing bows I shot. This one feels just awesome. And the draw, <laughs> nothing. That is an incredible bow. I mean, all the bows from Chaba are awesome, but this one, cross carbon, here, there's nothing wiggling, even if you have here already this knee or elbow, I think it's a knee, uh, and, and even in this direction, with this carbon, it, here it really makes sense, and here this carbon shines with a Turkish, or I don't know, you don't have this, 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 really massive thing here. You don't see that much, but here it's really, really beneficial. And he even made sure that here a whipping, here a whipping, so that you are safe and good to go. Incredible bow for this price, wow. So packaging, bowstring sleeve, documentation, six points, handling. With stringing, you need to be a little bit more careful because unstrung, the bow wiggles quite a bit, so, but, you do it two, three times, it's fine. So I give you, I give it 10. The build, exceptional. And even this color combination of here, bamboo, I guess, the whipping, this brown, and here the same, and a little black. This is just, this would be exactly the bow for me, 10. The basic feel, this bow, handle-wise, is just, fine however you hold the bow this is fine this bow feels even if they are a little heavy still nice and balanced and it, you don't feel the weight so this bow is still relatively short this is an amazing bow basic feel is just 10. draw experience is out of this world really i mean this time i really mean it it's here you there's a little slag at the beginning but then here it's like Oi! And then all of a sudden, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. There is no stacking. It gets a little stiff, but at 32 goes a little up. But until then, it's like, this is one of the nicest draw curves or draw experiences I had. 10, uh, shooting experience 10. This is like, this bow is telling you what is going on. So the, 
due to this, you can do a little torque, you can do whatever. Or in a katra, this is, everything works with this bow. You don't even have to do anything and the arrows fly nice. So this bow is so really versatile. So even for a horse archer, I could see that bow really, really well. So this is just a, what do we have? 56. Price value, I give you five. It's 355 euros. It's plus shipping, then you have 400 euros. What are we talking about? Yeah, this is get a set of limbs for an Olympic recurve and you are happy if you only pay 400 euros. Then you only have the limbs and here you get a bow, ah, which is just, there is not, no vibration. There's nothing, nothing going on. You feel a little in the hand, but it's of course, it's, it's almost like a little manchu. So when, when the string, catches here, you have this, this lever going on. It's, it's a, a, a tiny manchu kick, but it's awesome. This is just an awesome bow and I don't want to stop shooting. Grégoire, you ordered just a new one. And I keep this one. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> a Look at this. So, battery is running out in the cold. Batteries don't last very long. So, Gregoire, thank you very much for letting send your bow first to me that I can shoot a bit. I don't take it to the parkour. I will pack it now and you will get it Monday, Tuesday. I will ship it for sure. So, I don't want to shoot any. I, I want to shoot this bow forever, but I will ship it to you because it's your bow. <laughs> but I feel honored that you let me shoot this bow. Shaba. This one, this one, and that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one. And Merry Christmas, just in case you celebrate and we don't see us before anymore.